ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear patients, their relatives and everybody who is interested in to modern technologies in treatment of prostate cancer. This webinar will be devoted to cybernet treatment of prostate cancer. The incidence of prostate cancer is among the highest uh, among other uh, cancer locations and especially in Northern Europe, uh, also in Latvia, it has one of the highest incidence among other cancers. I am a radiation oncologist. I'm working in this field around 20 years and uh, around 15 years from, from my working life, I have special interest in treatment of prostate cancer. Uh, last uh, seven years, uh, I'm working with CyberKnife radio surgery system and around 50% uh, of our patients are especially patients of prostate cancer. I am a member of International Society of uh, Radio Surgery and I am uh, the head of the working group investigating uh, prostate cancer. Regarding uh, treatment methods uh, which is suitable for treatment of prostate cancer, European uh, guidelines of European Association of Urologists recommend that every patient uh, has review uh, all available effective radical treatment methods for treatment of prostate cancer, both surgical methods, both methods of uh, radiotherapy. And uh, regarding radiotherapy, CyberKnife system is one of the advanced modern uh, treatment method of uh, radiotherapy, also used um, very long time for prostate cancer. Prostate cancer, uh, according to the uh, clinical parameters such as Gleason score, PSA level and tumor um, stage, is divided into three general so-called risk groups, low risk, intermediate risk and, and high risk prostate cancer. And uh, depending uh, from these clinical parameters, uh, also, the efficacy of treatment depends on, on these clinical parameters. With low-risk prostate cancer, the probability to be cured uh, after radiosurgery is uh, between 95 and 97 percent. With intermediate risk, it's around between 80 and 90 percent. And with high-risk uh, prostate cancer, it's lower, between 70 and 80 percent. According to scientific literature and also data from our, our clinic, the efficacy is as effective as uh, radical prostatectomy. However, quality of life uh, differs from surgical treatment methods. Uh, what is important is that prostate radiosurgery has been used already more than 10 years and we have already data of um, efficacy and quality of life um, after nine and ten years of follow-up from patients uh, which has received this treatment method. So regarding these long-term results, efficacy still remains uh, high after, even after nine and ten years. Uh, so for low-risk uh, prostate cancer, it's 93% uh, possibility of biochemical control, what means low PSA level after treatment with uh, CyberKnife robotic radio surgery. Uh, robotic uh, radio surgery providing um, efficacy as high as radical prostatectomy at the same time provides um, better quality of life results important aspect of quality of life is uh, urinary continence after received treatment. Uh, so regarding radical prostatectomy, one of very important um, side effect is urinary incontinence. So regarding radiosurgery, we don't see urinary incontinence uh, almost at all. Very according to scientific literature, only uh, 1-2% might have any side effects, uh, any complaints of uh, urinary incontinence. Also, regarding uh, sexual function, uh, surgery might be linked with uh, severe impairment of sexual 
function of men receiving radical prostatectomy, uh, but uh, with uh, radio surgery, uh, we don't see significant deterioration in, in this function for the patients who received uh, this treatment method. Of course, also this method has uh, some side effects uh, and robotic radio surgery has uh, quite minor side effects which are usually very short term, just a few weeks after the treatment. Mm. So there might be uh, irritation of urinary tract such as um, more frequent urination, might uh, be some discomfort uh, during urination and also uh, occasionally some irritation of, um, of uh, rectal mucosa which results into a more um, frequent movement of bowel but usually it is self-limiting uh, within few weeks uh, or uh, treated uh, with very uh, mild medications. The reason why these side effects are so low in frequent is because of precision of CyberKnife. As this system is specially dedicated for precision treatments and methodology of the patient preparation, uh, monitoring during the treatment is very well established, uh, so it results in the lower side effects. Uh, the crucial aspect is that we implant uh, tiny fiducial markers into the prostate and uh, during the treatment large number of x-ray images uh, are taken and um, the system automatically recognizes the position all the minor deviation of prostate and automatically adjusts the beam angle uh, in order to hit the exactly correct uh, place of the target and this has been proved into the number of uh, clinical trials where also um, standard linear accelerators were used uh, and also CyberKnife system and the uh, CyberKnife system showed less frequent and less prominent uh, side effects both from the side of uh, genitourinary tract both from the side of uh, gastrointestinal tract for most of the prostate cancer um, patients, long-term radiotherapy is now needed. Most often it is possible to deliver treatment within uh, five fractions. Additionally, I would like to outline that um, radiosurgery with the CyberNet treatment system is non-invasive. The beams are entering the body from outside and uh, no um, incisions um, are made. The only minimally invasive uh, part of this treatment is implantations of fiducial markers. However, it's done with the very tiny needles and um, is not, uh, not painful. Currently, there are more and more data of long-term follow-up uh, for patients uh, who has received robotic radio surgery in treatment of prostate cancer and uh, published data says that uh, even after 10 years there are no um, severe side effects and quality of life is still maintained um, very similar to that what was uh, before the treatment and also regarding efficacy it doesn't um, become worse of course, if a patient had more aggressive cancer, then of course, um, with every treatment method, uh, including um, surgical removal and radiosurgery, there is higher risk that even after six, seven, nine or 10 years, there might appear some regional or, or distant uh, relapse of, of prostate cancer. But even in this case, it's not the um, end of the fight with, uh, with the cancer. It's just necessary to add some next session to treat this uh, site, as uh, CyberKnife is also effective in treatment of, of um, relapses and distant metastases of prostate cancer. Uh, due to the low um, probability and severity of side effects, uh, most of the patients still continue uh, their daily activities such as work, 
or physical activities such as walking. Uh, we do not recommend extreme physical activities during the treatment and after the treatment where there are any minor side effects present. Then of course extreme load might increase these side effects but uh, usually patients do not face uh, any uh, severe deviations for their normal lifestyle. For patients traveling to our clinic uh, from regions further away, um, usually we deliver treatment in five consecutive days and additionally the preparation for the treatment should be done uh, two, three days before the uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, so altogether it takes from the beginning of uh, preparation to the last fraction, it can be done within eight days. What is important that um, we are ready uh, to review your initial clinical data and uh, give some recommendations if some data are not sufficient to make a um, conclusion about suitability of radiosurgery uh, in particular case. Um, this is uh, done remotely for free and, uh, and rapidly within a few days. Um, later, when all information is acquired, we advise patients to, to come to visit us to, to receive consultations or we deliver also consultations uh, remotely, video conversations. And uh, our task is to give as possible large amount of information that patients can decide what treatment method um, better fits for particular case. Uh, we give uh, information regarding side effects, uh, regarding uh, treatment efficacy uh, of um, each treatment method and later patient has to decide which treatment better, uh, method better suits for him. For the end, I would like to encourage every patient to review all treatment methods and also to apply your clinical data if you are uh, interested in, in to review your particular case uh, regarding treatment of robotic radio surgery, then uh, we are ready to give uh, as possible wide information about all available treatment methods, not only robotic radio surgery, but also conventional radiotherapy and other treatment methods in order that you can uh, evaluate uh, all these treatment methods and uh, choose the, uh, what best fits for you. Mm -hmm.